Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. If you guys are new to my channel, I have this big smile on my face because I'm finally filming a video that I've been wanting to do and that kind of leans towards what kind of videos I've been wanting to make. I've been telling my audience that has watched me for a while now that the videos that I make quite often, whether they're vlogs or just like a makeup video, aren't necessarily the videos that I want to be making. And, you know, I've talked about it, so I won't go in-depth, but I'm going to try and make a video that I've been wanting to, which is just like a declutter, like kind of clean with me. My room is kind of... it's a mess. It's, it's a mess. <laughs> um, it's been messier, but I feel like it's kind of... I buy a lot of things that I don't necessarily have a place for, and I don't even ever use. And because I'm hoping to move soon, within like a month... I want to just start decluttering things that way once it comes time to move there isn't so much clutter and just you know things I don't use it'll be a good fresh start so things that I want to declutter but I might not get all of it today um, I want to declutter my closet I did do this probably like mid-December um, but I've added to my collection and I kept things in that collection like when I did that declutter I kept things that I was like maybe I will use didn't use so we're gonna go through my closet and clear out all that and then I do have some dry laundry that I need to put away so we will see how much gets decluttered and I do have like still a bag full of clothes in my car that I need to take to Goodwill so I have like a lot that I just don't use that I don't have a place for that I don't need so I'm gonna do that I want to try and get down the sink underneath my like my bathroom it's now just a place where I throw things underneath um, so I need to do that and then I also want to declutter my like little hair trolley setup and then as well as my nail polish and like I have this like desk with like candles, nail polish, lotions, things like that that I want to go through. Maybe I will take a look into my makeup. I haven't really bought in a lot of makeup but I know that when I buy makeup I don't buy the right products and I don't use them or throw them out. I just kind of keep them there and try my best to use them so I think it'll be really beneficial for me to just throw out the things that I don't use and purchase the things that I will. I don't think I will talk for the cleaning portion, but I may let you guys know, like talk through what I'm, you know, throwing out and whatnot because that's typically how declutter videos go. supernatural playing in the background because I don't want to get copyrighted for music but also I don't want to talk like I'm the only one home alone you know so it just I don't know I need like a background noise <laughs> uh, okay so we're gonna start with this shelf because it's just a simple shelf so I have books and some movies but I think I might move my books over that way um, for now because it might motivate me more to read okay 
so right here I have some of these like nail things. I think I'm going to throw these out because I already like went through two or three cycles of them. So I doubt that I have any like full sets. So that's garbage. Um, I have some books here. I think it was this one that I started. And the first like two pages, two pages that I read were pretty good. So I'm going to keep these Chelsea Handler books and see if I ever read them. For like reading, it just has, it has to be like a kind of like a habit. It's not that I don't like read don't like reading or anything like that it's just i'm not in the habit of reading um so i'm gonna keep these and then i have this michelle fawn book which i'm also gonna keep it's a good book it was a gift it's something that i really wanted you know it's like a part of my collection kind of so that's saying this is actually my sister's so i'll probably have to give this back to her at some point point. and then this right here is something that i have to hold all of my wires and electronics so i'm gonna wipe this down and reorganize some of this stuff What I did is I laid out all of my nail polishes and in order I kind of just basically swatched each of them on a paper to see the color and to see if they would dry down and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick by color like what I would and would not wear um, and if it's in good condition so all of these right here dry down good so that means that they can still be used so if I'm not going to use them I'm just going to put them in the pile to repurpose and see if there's anybody else in my life that may want them. And the rest I'm going to keep. It's not likely that I would use like dark shades or gray shades. But I will keep a few of the darker shades just in case I decide to. This is a dark shade that I probably wouldn't wear. But I want to try it in combination with this shade here. Because they both do dry down very well. Just a basic white. I'm going to toss this one out just because I've had this for so many years. That I feel like I don't reach for it very much. Also keeping this one just for summertime. Because obviously it's just a very bright orange pink i'm gonna keep i'm most likely gonna keep all of my pinks because as you guys can see pink is pretty much my go-to nail color this one i'm not gonna keep i would never use this on my hands or on my toes it's just a dark shade i don't think that it pops i'm not attracted to it i'm gonna keep a black black is the occasional dark color that i will wear when i'm just in that kind of mood and in that vibe so aside from that i also put away like all of my little nail things so i just have my dip powder i have the like spray and like what is this called the like brush on nail glue that i use for whenever i do my at home little manicures some files some you know clippers and all that stuff in here i also have some extras in this thing right here which again i'm just reusing this was a perfume bottle holder some more files and cuticle oil okay so it is almost three o'clock i am like so tired let me take this off i'm so tired but this was this was the main point of this video so i'm just gonna finish this video off by just doing this one side in my closet today and we'll finish off in another video on the other side but yeah let's um let's get into it in the bottom section i have dresses in this section i have activewear sleepwear shorts and skirts and i think that's about it oh extra t-shirts leggings and then up here i have jeans i feel like this isn't working for me but as for how it's gonna function i think i'm gonna figure out in the next video i think i want to move this shelf up there and bring that down this way but i'll figure that part out in the next video i just want to get into this pull some things out bolt stuff you know let's do it what won't be a surprise is how i probably won't throw away any of my dresses because i love dresses dresses are like my favorite thing to wear even if i haven't shaved i'll probably wear a dress but let's just okay some of these i might try on just to make sure that they fit okay this is a dress that my sister got me. I've worn this like probably four times. I enjoy this. Keeping. Keeping that. I wear that quite often. I wear this often. I wear that. I've worn the oh my god. You guys, let me tell you the story. I went to lunch with my mom one, one day and usually we go to like Savers, we go to Ross. And we went to Ross and I found this right here. So gorgeous. For <clears throat> $1.99. I 
$1.99. This. $1.99. It was like, I think it, it was marked off like three times. But the last time it was marked off was $1.99. And I was like, I don't know if this fits. But it's $1.99 and it fits, so. This is actually, this is a part of my Halloween costume. So it's like a witch costume. Um, and you have like a piece that goes underneath. But I'm keeping it as an actual dress because I love the sleeves. And I love the fact that it's like, you know, lacy. But I have to get it like sewed up. See if my sister can because this like side of the fabric like ripped so there's like a hole this dress here i might have to get rid of this is actually a dress that my sister gave me but i think it's too small like in the boot and like armpit area let me double check yeah this isn't gonna work for me i got it the rest fits so lovely and i love flowers but it's gotta go it ain't gonna work but damn I love this dress. It's a great, you know, summer and spring dress. This I think I'm going to <sighs> toss out. Still too tight, like around, I guess, like the shoulder area. Oh, it's such a pretty top. I've actually only worn this once since I purchased this, but how, like, where would I wear this to, right? But if it fits me and it looks good, I'm not gonna just, you know, I'm keep that. Oh, this is a dress from Charlotte Rue. This is an extra large. I actually had my sister sew it for me because it was a little funky. Let me try this on and see how it looks, see if I would even wear it. Okay, so this is what the dress is looking like. I, okay, as I told you guys, my sister like took it in a little bit. I might have to ask her again because as you guys can see, the two different fabrics wasn't a completely even so but i'll just ask her to fix that and i think to take that in and that would look so much better that way so i'll keep a hold on to this one all right i'm gonna hold on to this and i don't like this fabric here so i think i will see if my sister can just do that also keeping this dress this is a dress i wore in high school can you guys tell how worn out it is though this is cute i don't know why i haven't worn it Except for the fact that, is you pregnant? No, just kidding. Um, yeah, um, I'm keeping this. So keeping this, I'm going to throw out this one. I don't really enjoy this like piece here. This one I'm going to keep. This is actually my graduation dress and it's a very pretty dress. So this is just a cover up for swimsuit, so I'm gonna keep that. So, this still fits good, but as you guys can see, it is so short. Um, I'm just gonna pass this along. I wear these a lot. They are, I do need to find a different pair because you can see the back here, what here. I think I'm gonna throw these out. I don't like the way they fit me anymore. I feel like these ride up right here. They just roll. This rolls down. They just don't fit my body very well. These again, I feel like they ride up here. But the waist fits me good. The length is a little bit short. I'm going to hold on to these to see how they wear in the summer. These ones are so tight. So I think these, although I do really enjoy them, I need to pass these on. Alright, these active pants, I wear these all the time, so they're the same. Typically enjoy active wear tops that are tighter fitting or just more snug because I feel like you can really just see my rolls and that makes me feel insecure. And when I'm working out, I don't want to feel like that. So this one, I'm going to pass this on. Same goes for this one. This one was actually a birthday gift, but... I just don't feel good in it however i do enjoy this right here this is a little bit oversized and it is a snug fit the reason why i enjoy this one is because it has like a like bra lining i guess which helps just hold things in so this one i'm keeping i do enjoy this one which strangely is a snugger fit and it's kind of like a cropped but i feel like it holds in I don't mind something that's snug as long as I feel like I'm being held in. So holding on to this, and I'm also holding on to this one. And then the last one, again, it's a little bit oversized, so keeping this one. Okay, these I need to throw out. They have a rip right here. 
so I think I'm gonna pass these on. These are just workout pants. They have a pocket, but I think that they're a little bit too big for me, and I feel like whenever I move in them, they just don't do well staying up. So, passing these on. This is everything that I'm tossing out. It's quite a decent pile, actually. And this is everything that I'm keeping. There are things in here that are like winter or like summer, both seasons. So I have to take out all the winter just because that season is kind of coming to an end. So that I can put those away and then bring down some of the summer items. It's gonna suck to edit this. Okay, guys. I'm gonna end the video here. Doesn't look like it because there's like a trash bag and clothes. This is what I'm gonna try and donate or resell. Um, and this is just winter clothes. As you guys can see, this setting, the setting, <laughs> this area is just so much more organized. So I cut down my dress collection by what, like four or five dresses? Um, and then this, uh, the improvement, you guys, uh, this lighting. It's almost like 4.30, so you know, that lighting is kind of going down. But yeah, like, you guys, if I could get a side-by-side, -side, like I will, this is so much better. So basically I have it with active tops and then like active leggings, regular leggings um, for whatever occasion, and then just like night shorts, just some tops or not tops but just t-shirts for work or lazy days you know i have this thing right here that i have to try on and see if this is like a nightgown or not and then shorts and skirts and then this is just that random like black cover-up i don't really know where to put that yet and then this was reduced obviously by a lot i do have some in the dryer that it will get put up um but look this is how much i got rid of in just this side next video will be this side so that's going to be interesting <laughs> um i did organize my hair trolley which i did throw out a lot of products that i no longer use and then you guys saw me declutter this area there's the trash bag <laughs> and then i just have some pieces down here that i need to get altered by my sister all right that's the video do you even fashion <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video